Hello and welcome to Optics Trade YouTube channel. We are at EVA 2025 and we're currently visiting Guide booth and Andreas and I were just looking at their new uh, TD633L monocular. So yes. this is the new one in the TD family, right? This is the new one in the TD family. It's the successor of the TD631 we uh, released uh, in the end of 2033 and I had uh, some suggestions in 2033 and Guide made it happen. Everything I wanted. This is a um, handheld device which an internal focus. It has a 650, a 640 uh, sensor, a big sensor with a 35 millimeters. So that means you have a very uh, wide field of view of 22 meters. And yeah, it has an usual 8650 battery. It uh, has a laser, laser range finder inbuilt. You can measure distances up to 1,000 meters for a handheld device. I think that's far enough. Yeah. No? Uh, I can I can say that the uh, focusing on the objectives objective is the thing of the past, right? So now the focusing is done here. Yes. And this is the trend with all thermal monoculars coming into the market, not only with guide but also the competitors. Yes. It's, it is a very good idea to do that because a lot of people are stalking on whiteboards and you have your weapon and you have your shooting, your shooting stick and you need uh, your hands to operate in the night and it's very complicated to use devices where you need two hands to uh, set the focus in the right way. So, this helps, especially when you're a hunter who is who's, uh, uh, going for stalking. You know? yeah. It makes uh, your work much easier, right? Definitely. I can also see an interesting feature. You can also move the, the strap on the other side. Right? Yeah, it has four detachment points. Uh, two on the left side <coughs> and two on the right side. And moreover, you have the chance to use a neck strap to uh, yeah, hang it on the neck. So the lens is 35 millimeters, yes. and currently this is the 633L model. Yes. Can we also expect the model without the LRF, or can we also expect that, that the guide will expand the series, the TD, in, in the near future? Yes, we can expect then we, that, that, that we get uh, some devices without laser range finder with a lower price point, yeah. and moreover, as far as I heard, they plan a 50 millimeter model too. Speaking of the price points, yeah, um, now we have a price point of 1,800 okay. euros, I think that will be the entry price for, yeah, for the market. This device was already released on the market or can we expect it soon? I think it's, it's not released yet. This is a kind of prototype okay. and we will see it, I think, in the middle of or end of June. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Andreas, for this thorough description. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.